They call them the king of the jungle, but even a king can fall. Just ask the French. While they may laud themselves over other animals in a way that only a giant can, well, that doesn't mean that they're impervious in battle. Vicious fights break out in the animal kingdom on an hourly basis, and it may surprise you to learn that the so-called kings don't always win. These are 20 animals that can defeat a lion. Number 20. Hyenas Now I'm going straight for the good stuff, or in this case, the Disney stuff, because if any of you have watched The Lion King, the animated version, I won't speak of the live action one, then you know that hyenas can be one of the biggest threats to lions when under the right circumstances. They technically kill multiple lions in the film, which includes Mufasa, by causing a stampede. But is it really all that accurate? Well, this is why they are called lion killers. Kind of. If you were to do a one-on-one -on -one matchup between a hyena versus a fully grown lion, the hyena would more than likely be ripped to shreds. But that's where the hyena breaks out its trump card. That's because they hunt in groups. Whenever you see them in the wild, they will rarely be alone, and they even use their laughs as a kind of communication method in order to indicate when to strike, when to back off, and more. And it also doesn't help that their bite force is over 1,100 pounds per square inch, which is more than enough to shatter your bones. If you want an example of hyenas doing what they do against a lion, well, here's a perfect one that was caught by the BBC during one of their nature documentaries. In this video, a young lion has left its pride, and as a result, it becomes surrounded by 20 hyenas. That's a whole lot of foes. You can hear the lion trying to use intimidation to scare them off, but they know that they have the advantage. And you can even hear their laughter as they circle the lion, ready to strike. Then, when they do strike, you see the terrifying skill that these animals have. They allow the lion to go after one of them, and the rest of the pack then descend upon them, picking and clawing at it. The only reason that the lion survives is that another one stumbles into the fight and decides to help. Two lions are a whole lot harder to deal with than one, and so the hyenas have to flee. And as you can see, the saved lion is grateful. And so that leaves the question, why did the hyenas flee when they had a two to one advantage? Simply put, they prefer an easy target. No one ever said that hyenas were courageous after all. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. These dogs are called Fluffy and Cutesy, but those names could not be further from the truth. Here's their story, and why they are called Lion Killers. When a guy, who we can't name for legal reasons, went on an African safari, he requested to take his two beloved dogs. His request was rightfully denied, but the guy kept throwing money at the staff who ran the safari until they relented. That would prove to be a huge mistake, because his dogs proved to be far more violent and aggressive than their names would suggest, making everybody else in the Jeep nervous, and their apprehensions would prove to be just. When driving past a lion, the dogs leapt from the jeep and brutally attacked the poor guy. They proved in that moment that if left untrained, and if allowed to develop a temper, even a humble pet dog can take down a lion in a fight. The lion fought back, but to no avail, he was outnumbered and lost his life in the carnage. It's a heartbreaking and devastating story, to know that an animal senselessly lost its life because some rich idiot refused to play by the rules. As always, you can let me know what you think in the comments section down below by using the hashtag SweetTopic. Number 19. The Black Mamba At first sight, it might seem odd that I'm putting a snake up against a lion, but there are a few things to note here to help it all make sense. First, both creatures live on the same continent, and thus they could meet if the circumstances fell into the right place. The other thing to note is that the black mamba is one of the most venomous snakes in the world. Even if the lion were to kill the snake afterwards, it might already be dead. That's because a bite from a black mamba can actually kill someone in 30 minutes with symptoms showing up in around 10. Additionally, the black mamba is known for its quick strikes and aggression, so it could get up and bite the lion multiple times before it even gets in a counter strike. And that big cat, well, it would eventually bite the dust. 
Number 18. African Elephant If you still have a little bit of trouble believing that a snake could defeat a lion, well allow me to show you a creature that you can truly not doubt when it comes to their ability to kill a big cat. The African Elephant is the largest land mammal in the world, and that's important to note right off the bat because that makes it something incredibly hard to kill due to its size and bulk. While lions are powerful, they do have limits. An African elephant can weigh 6,350 kilograms, and it's well distributed throughout its frame. That means that it's a hefty creature that can be hard to pierce and claw at. Now that's not to say that lions won't try to take on an elephant, because remember, they are courageous creatures, but they're also smart ones. And so, if they were to try and take on an elephant, they'll go after one that's already injured, or may go after one of the calves, because they're much smaller and easier to take down. But that also comes with its own set of problems, because if there's one thing that elephants know how to do, it is to protect their herd. The mothers especially are known for working together to defend the babies, even if they're not their own, and they'll circle up and around them to defend them from threats like a lion. And if you're still not convinced that an elephant can take a lion down, well, I have some more facts to drop on you. First, I'll talk about their trunks. These appendages are so powerful that elephants have been known to lift up tree trunks and use them as weapons. But if they do need to get more basic, they can use their big bulk to literally squash anything that gets beneath their massive feet. And so, an adult male lion, weighing about 500 pounds, just imagine a three-ton elephant deciding to press down on that big cat. Can you say squished? Number 17. Hippos. Here's another creature that has bulk for days and is not afraid to be aggressive. Hippos have been popular in pop culture as being huge but lovable creatures, but I'll be completely blunt, that is an absolute and outright lie. Yes, hippos are huge, but they're only lovable because most people don't get to see them up close. And when they do, they will see how monstrous and powerful they can be. Case in point, hippos can weigh well over 3,000 pounds, which is six times what a lion can weigh as already noted. However, they're not slow, far from it in fact. They can run on land at over 56 kilometers per hour, and their speed in water is equally as impressive as it is terrifying. Now, if you look it up, you're going to find numerous videos of hippos going after boats that invade their territory, and even knocking them over as though they were a torpedo that had been fired from a ship. These animals are known to cause stampedes and trample over people if they feel that they're encroaching on their territory. They are a violent animal, and they can absolutely kill a lion. Plus, there are videos of them attacking lions, such as the one you're seeing now. As you can see, the poor lion is pretty much stranded on a rock in a river. He's not doing anything menacing or aggressive. He honestly just looks a little depressed because he's stuck. But do those hippos really give a rip? Well, no. One of them even gets closer to the rock, eyeballs the lion, and then pounces on top of it. The lion knows that it's outmatched, and thus it flees into the river and tries to get away while fighting the current. And if you're curious, a hippo's bite comes with a force of 1,800 pounds per square inch. It's literally snapped a human in half in the past, so now imagine what it may have done if that lion had been bitten by it. Number 16. The Sable Antelope Here's another creature that you might have trouble picturing beating a lion. After all, antelopes are something that a lion eats, among other animals that I'll get into a bit later. But just because you're viewed as prey doesn't mean that you can't fight off your predator. In the case of the sable antelope, they have a very unique defense mechanism against creatures like the lion. That would be their curved antlers. And as you can see in this video, a lion sees an easy meal and attempts to take it down by getting it to the ground. But that actually allows the antelope to rear backwards with its head and basically impale that lion, forcing it to flee. This kind of defense mechanism saved its life, and it's likely saved other antelopes as well over the years. So again, just because you're prey doesn't mean that you're helpless. Number 15. Tigers 
This is one that you've probably been waiting on, and I don't blame you for that. Because while lions are referred to as the kings of the cat kingdom, that's actually not really accurate. There are two cat species that are bigger than a lion. The first are ligers, which is a mixed breed, and not something that you see in the wild all that often, if at all. And then there are tigers. Tigers have quite the reputation themselves, and because of their impressive size and power, people have often wondered what would happen if these two beings crossed paths. <laughs> Well, they actually don't, not very often at least, because they live on two completely different continents. Lions, not including zoos and animal reserves, are located in Africa, while tigers are mainly found in Asia. Neither animal is prone to a long-distance adventure, so they don't meet outside of captivity. That all being said, there have actually been times at zoos when they did match up, and it didn't quite end well for the lions. One famous incident took place at the Ankara Zoo in 2010 and saw a tiger entering into a lion's exhibit. The battle did not last long. One single swipe from the tiger had severed the lion's jugular. Another conflict between a lion and a tiger occurred at New York City's Bronx Zoo in 1914. The battle lasted much longer but had a similar result, with the tiger eventually breaking the lion's back. If you're keeping score, that means two for the tiger and zero for the lion. But why would that be? Well, the first reason is that tigers are bigger than lions. They're longer, coming in at about three meters at max, and they're also heavier. So, when you have a longer body and a heavier frame, it could easily help you take down a smaller opponent. One should be grateful that these two don't meet all that often, because one might make the other one extinct. Number 14. Porcupines. Before you go freaking out, I would like to acknowledge that in a straight up fight, porcupines are never going to win. They don't attack in the traditional sense, they're very much defensive fighters. But that being said, lions and porcupines have scrapped more times than you may realize, and there are some reports that have said that lions, who messed with these prickly creatures, have actually died due to the injuries they sustained. You can take that as you will, but it also proves that there's more going on here than you may realize. The big thing to note is the incredibly dangerous quills that porcupines have. They aren't only annoying, but they can also be quite long, actually one third of a meter at times. And so if you put one of them into the wrong place, even a lion can fall. Also, even if it is just wounds, lions are not able to easily get them out of their bodies. And so they do even more damage than you may expect. Number 13. Rhinos. Now I have for you a truly formidable opponent for the lion, rhinos. Rhinos are yet another creature that you can put under the banner of the best defense is having a whole lot of bulk. Because rhinos are basically walking tanks, and that can make it hard for a lion or its pride to take one on and then take it down. Much like with a hippo or an elephant, a rhino has plenty of weight on their side which makes them much more sturdy than a lion. Depending on their age and species, they can weigh a whole heck of a lot, which means that they're more than several lions put together. Plus, like hippos, they're incredibly fast on the land. In fact, they can run up to 56 kilometers per hour, and they use that to unleash their deadliest attack, being their charge. Being in front of a rhino when it's charging you is basically a death sentence if you can't get away, so that's not a place that you'll want to be. And if you're asking, well, if they're so dangerous, do lions actually go after them? The answer is all about the context. Like with elephants, lions will go after their calves as they're less than a threat, easier to catch, and yet are still a worthy meal. But they won't go after an adult rhino unless they know that they can kill it, because if they're wrong, the rhino is going to make them regret it. In fact, many scientists would agree that lions understand the risks that rhinos can pose to their pride, and thus they'll leave them be more times than not. In a way, that actually shows how smart a lion is. They may be an apex predator, but even they know their limits. Plus, there are easier targets out on the African savanna. Number 12. The Cape Buffalo Here's another example of context determining who would win in a fight. The Cape Buffalo is another creature that has a nice amount of size on its frame. However, unlike the hippos, elephants, and rhinos that I just talked about, they don't exactly have that natural defense to withstand a grand-scale attack. 
In terms of weight, they can sometimes be up to about 2,000 kilograms, which outweighs the lion quite a bit. And they can also use that strength to take one out if they're doing a simple one-on-one -on -one in a fight. However, a pride of lions is going to use their speed and numbers advantage in order to take down a single Cape Buffalo. The video you're about to see personifies that context. In it, you'll see a pride of lions coming across a herd of Cape Buffalo. They will instantly flee, but the lions are able to find one and start to swarm it. They're going to kill it unless something changes. Thankfully for that buffalo, something does. It cries for help, and the once fleeing herd then returns around and stampedes onto the lion pride. One of them even locks up with a lion with its horns and flings it into the air. Once that pride is backed up, the Cape Buffaloes then circle up and defend their brethren. The lions know that they can't take on that many of them and live, and so they ease away. It's quite the conflict, and it goes to show you how quickly that a fight can shift in the wild when the right numbers are present. And so, a lion can beat a Cape Buffalo, but the reverse can also be true. Number 11. A Wildebeest Wildebeest are another set of creatures that can take on lions for numerous reasons, despite being seen as prey by them. As you may recall from The Lion King, wildebeest can travel in incredible numbers. I'm talking in the thousands, more than enough to take down a lion pride or two or even three. Plus, their size is not to be underestimated either. They're taller than most lions, and they're actually faster and more agile. They're known to leap over obstacles to get to where they need to be, and they're not afraid to put their skills to the test against a lion if provoked. Like in this short clip, where a wildebeest full-on owns a lion and even takes it off of its feet. So yeah, lesson learned, don't mess with the wildebeest. Number 10. Panther Let's bring in another of the big cats where we have a look at the panther. The panther is one of the more stealthy versions of the big cat world. They love to hide in the shadows and environments and then leap out at prey that come within their reach. But could they actually take on a lion? Well, in most cases, no. Unlike with the tiger, the panther is not as large nor powerful as the king of the jungle. Plus, the subspecies live in the Americas, so they wouldn't even have to scrap with a lion in the first place. That's not to say that they couldn't get a good shot or two in on a lion, but the lion would more than likely overwhelm them rather quickly. While there are some big cats that do measure up to lions, there are others that honestly cannot compete, and that is important to be noted. Number 9. African Rock Pythons Now we'll talk about another kind of snake to see if they can match up to a lion. In this case, it's all about another serpent that could cross paths with a lion on their home turf, the African Rock Python. The size of this snake is often hard to pin down. Many say that it easily exceeds 6 meters, but that's only been confirmed a few times. They can also weigh as much as 90 kilograms depending upon their length. They are the biggest snake in Africa, and they don't like to play nice with others. They're aggressive snakes and will use ambush techniques to strike before the foe even knows what's going on. But can the African rock python kill a lion? Well, it's actually very doubtful. It's not that size is the issue, it's the impact of the bite. These snakes can pack a wallop, but they rarely kill big things like a human or a lion, as they have no venom. Plus, they would get the first strike, but the lion would actually get the last laugh. Number 8. Honey Badger Here's yet another animal that you likely don't expect to see on this list. But because of the honey badger's reputation in the world, it felt appropriate to place it here. Why? Well, that's because honey badgers really don't care about who you are or how powerful that you're supposed to be. If you intend to get in a fight with it, it's going to fight until the bitter end because it's quite literally fearless and psychotic. And the internet? Well, it has a lot of proof of this. Two honey badgers took on a pack of lionesses and actually lived. They were outmatched in every single way, but because of their literal thick skin and tenacity, they were able to endure the attack and get some shots in and then get out of there. They'll likely never kill a lion, but they could actually show one who's boss. Number 7. Nile Crocodile 
Now we'll get back to another apex predator that could tangle with the lion should it want to. The Nile crocodile is easily one of the most formidable and ferocious versions of the crocodile out there. They can be well over six feet long and have the ability and desire at times to go after a human. The things are literal man-eaters, and between them and the saltwater crocodile of the world, they comprise the most attacks on humans, including fatalities. <laughs> So with that in mind, it would not be the most difficult thing in the world to imagine them biting into a lion if the opportunity presented itself. As we've already showed you, it's all about context. These two apex predators fight in very different styles, and that's important to note. Crocodiles are known as a first strike predator. They pride themselves on sneaking in the water and getting close to prey, snapping down on them. And then they'll drag them into the water for a kill. So if it was able to do that to a lion, well, it could actually kill them. However, if that lion was able to evade the first strike or free itself before being dragged into the water, it would have some big openings to strike the croc down with its impressive claws. Lions have killed crocodiles, and crocs have made lions pay for attacking them. So if anything, this is really a 50-50 coin flip, and a fight whose victory would depend on where it's had and who strikes first. Number 6. Giraffes now, I know how it sounds, but at this point, you just have to give me the benefit of the doubt. Plus, I'm just reading the words that are put on the screen. I didn't write all of this stuff. Giraffes are some of the most recognizable creatures in the world thanks to their long necks and bodies, and that technically makes them great prey for lions as there's plenty of meat upon them. However, it doesn't mean that a lion can take one down easily. Remember, giraffes are really freaking long. They're over 2 meters in height, and they can weigh over 200 kilograms kilograms. They're also rather fast creatures, which leads to their special defense system. If they can stay upright, they can outlast a lion that's biting at them and actually kick them incredibly hard. You can see that very technique in this video, and it's not an instant kill shot unless it's perfectly placed, but it is one that may well get the lion to retreat. Number 5. Zebra now, zebra are easily one of the creatures that lions love to hunt the most. They're not the most offensively minded creatures, and they do truly prefer to run away from danger than to engage with it and risk becoming killed. But not unlike the giraffe, they do have a few trump cards to make the lion pay for what's coming after them. For example, if it's a singular lion going after the zebra, well, that animal can use its hooves to deliver an incredible kick to the lion. And as you see in this video, a zebra was able to literally send a lion flying through the air with one single kick. Whether it actually died or not is unclear, and it should also be noted that the zebra's speed is not to be scoffed at. So if they can land a blow and then start running, they will most likely end up winning that fight. Number 4. Silverback Gorilla now, a lot of you may have been wondering when I was going to bring primates into the mix, and here you are. Also, for this particular breakdown, I'm going to be focusing solely on a one-on-one -on -one matchup, as bringing in a pride would be overkill. The silverback gorilla is easily the strongest and largest of all primates. They're the ones that you don't want to screw around with if you meet them in the wild. They are lighter than a lion can be, but the trade-off is that they're some of the most muscular beings that you're going to find. I mean, just look at how the body's composed. They can rip you to shreds, and I do mean that literally, as silverback gorillas are said to be six times stronger than a human being. That's where the fight with the lion gets interesting, because unlike many creatures that you've seen so far, this isn't a fight of four-legged variety. This is a fight between a four-legged creature and a gorilla that can use its arms in a whole lot of ways. Not the least of which is that it will straight up pick you up and throw you down. It also helps that silverback gorillas are known to fight amongst each other in order to show dominance, so they're typically ready for a scrap at any moment. They're no slouch in speed, as they can get up to 40 kilometers per hour, and while the lion may technically be faster, it doesn't matter if you can't kill your opponent. Most would agree that a silverback gorilla will overpower a lion one-on-one -on -one and use its muscles and bulk to endure and outlast the big cat. Number 3. Baboons 
How about a different Disney movie reference this time? Have you ever watched Tarzan? Do you remember that scene where Jane upsets the baboon horde and they begin to chase after her quite wildly? Well, they actually do that in real life, and not unlike a honey badger, they don't really give a rip who they're scrapping with. They're going to defend their family and their territory to the bitter end. Here, you can see a clip of a lion going after a young baboon, only for an adult one to chase it away. A single baboon scared away a lion. Imagine a swarm of them coming down on the king of the jungle. That right there is the stuff of a lion's nightmares. Number 2. Grizzly Bears Now here's a creature that many of you could easily see taking a lion down. I mean, after all, grizzly bears are one of those creatures that the whole world would agree you should not get close to unless you're really, really, really sure that you're not going to get hurt by them. And no one can be really sure of that in the wild. The only reason that we don't have a lot more footage of these two animals attacking each other is because they live in different parts of the world. Grizzlies live in North America, primarily, and lions are in Africa. However, if the two did cross paths, the lion would probably be in serious trouble. First, bears are longer and bigger creatures, being over 2 meters in length and weighing over 550 kilograms at times, which is more than enough bulk to put a lion in its place. Plus, they can run at about the same speed as a lion, despite all of that extra weight. Add to that a bite force that's over 1,100 pounds per square inch, and they could easily break the lion down piece by piece if they wanted to. That's not to say that a lion couldn't take down a little and smaller bear but a fully grown grizzly, even a pride, is going to have trouble with that one at times. Number 1. The Komodo Dragon and we're going to end this list getting very exotic. As I've noted on certain entries, there are animals that don't naturally cross over into a lion's territory simply because they don't live in the same part of the world. The Komodo dragon is an excellent example of that, and I would be absolutely lying to you if I said I wasn't curious about how the fight could go. The Komodo dragon is basically the king of the lizards, as it's the biggest one on the planet by a large margin, and while they may be smaller than a lion, it might not matter if the Komodo dragon can sink their teeth into them. That's because some scientists would argue that the Komodo dragon has a venomous bite, which as I've already shown you is a great way to take a lion down if you can get enough of that venom into them. Then again, the lion has a speed that's much faster than a Komodo dragon, so it might not actually get the chance to get that killer bite locked in, but either way, it would certainly be entertaining. That's all from the kingdom of lions and the animals in the world that could likely take one down if they wanted to or if they ever met. Do you agree that these creatures could take on a lion? Or do you think that I'm overselling the skills of some of them? Which other animals in the world do you feel could defeat a lion? You should let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.